If you look closely at the skin of whales, you would see a colony of barnacles attached. One humpback whale can host almost 500 kg of barnacles. So how do these tiny shellless swimmers that are swimming around in this huge ocean get onto a whale in the first place? Not only that, these little swimmers are quite picky. Although there's plenty of space to spot on a whale, barnacles like spots where the flow of water is consistent. For instance, head of fins. So instead of settling wherever they land, these barnacles love a walk around the whale in search of a good real estate. I mean I get it. It's easy enough when all you want to stick to is an immobile raw. But a piggyback on a whale? Well the reason could be that barnacles reproduce during the whale's breeding season when the whales move around in warm shallow waters rather than moving through the open ocean. This means the whales would swim in a thick soup of larvae and I'm talking somewhere between 10,000 to 20,000 larvae from each barnacle parent. And it turns out that when a whale swims by, the drifting larvae pick up a chemical signal that tells them to hop on. But the story doesn't end here. Once they're satisfied with their location, the larvae produce a sticky cement that keeps them from falling into the ocean during their trek. No wonder they're so hard to remove. But do you think it's okay to remove barnacles from whales or turtles? Let me know your opinion in the comment. Or maybe watch this video, should barnacles be removed from turtles? And as always, thanks for watching.